Welcome to May You Are Real and I'm Cut. We're going to talk about Insecure. So I'm going to give folks a couple of minutes to come on in the room so we can chat about it. Hope everyone's having a lovely evening. It is Monday. It's Monday, right? Yeah, it's Monday, the day after um, Insecure has premiered. Um, not premiered, but has broadcast. Is that a thing? Yeah, let's go with that. So I'm just gonna give folks a couple minutes to come on in the room so we can chat about it. Hopefully they're not asleep yet. I'm just gonna wait. Just gonna wait. Just gonna wait. How are y'all doing today? What's going on today? Y'all wanna chat today? It's not daytime, it's nighttime. Who's here? Say hello so that I can say hello back. Says there's one person here, so say hi. Cause if you don't, that's rude. Do, 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 do. Two people, say hello. Say good evening so we can chat, okay? Mm-hmm. Might end up having to edit this because I don't want all this dead air just here, you know? People might be asleep though already because it's 11 o'clock, it's Monday night. I don't know, maybe, could be, could be not. Who's here? Say hello. Since there's three people here, are you gonna say hello to me? Are we gonna say hi? Happy Monday, anything, anything. There's four, okay, there's four people. Someone say hi. Say that you can hear me so I can make sure the sound is good and all that jazz. Pretty please, with sugar on top. I like my t-shirt. I cut it, it's a belly top now. Hi, Carla Thompson, how are you? You wanna talk about Instacurve? Tell me that ain't Instacurve, the concept of Seems so secure. Anyway, sorry, it's a little throwback, Kanye. Hey, love. Oh, I meant to tag you. I'm so glad you're here. Girl, do you want to come on? Do you want to come on the camera? Do you want to come on the video? I would love to have someone to chat with during this chitty chat chat. Since they brought back the live with feature. This will be my first live with since they brought it back. You want to come on, chick? Hey sis, I don't know if my sis watches Instacur. Do you watch Instacur, sis? Love, do you wanna come on? Let me know. Pretty please. Anyone? Bueller? 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 <laughs> oh, you're laying down? Oh no, okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it, you know, pop in. So I just, I wrote a couple of quick little notes. I've actually got it playing in the background now. Hey, Darylin, how are you? Okay, so let's talk about the beginning. Okay, so the opening scene, she texts Nate. Now, for some reason, I, I guess because I didn't like binge watch the previous seasons. Oh, you're in your pajamas. Since I didn't binge watch the previous seasons and I was just going off my memory, I didn't realize that Nate the Barber knew, who did he know? Whoever he knew to get the Vince guy to get the performer to come to Easter Resident. I didn't get that. So my bad for not putting that together because I was thinking she was just hitting him up because she wanted some of that old familiar. You know what I'm talking about. Um, Cause TSA guy wasn't there. So I figured, you know, she was just trying to get somebody to knock it down. Okay. Um, so there was that. Okay. And then that awkward moment when they were, she was at the block party. It's the night of the block party. And Condole, what, gosh, what is that girl's name? Cond Condoleezza, Condola, Condoloza. Con her, con Comptroller, I don't, I don't know her name. The C lady, uh, she pulled up and she was looking all like, hey. And then of course, Issa didn't know whether or not she was gonna be there. I'm like, okay, I get that. But I was wondering why she was avoiding her too, other than that whole awkward moment. Oh, okay, thank you, love. So Andrew and Nate are, okay, that's why he said, okay, he said he wasn't there. Okay, that makes sense. So when she reached out to Nate, she was like working her way on around to, 
get her performer. Well, not the performer she initially wanted, but a backup performer. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you for that, love. Okay, so homegirl got there and she was looking all weird and random. And that's when we found out that apparently her and um, Issa's ex boo broke up. I can't think of his name right now. What is his name? I can't think of his name. I'd be wanting to call him um, his name from um, when he was on the game. I can't think of that one either right now. But yeah, so needless to say, that little awkward moment, she's like, oh, I didn't know they broke up. And then she started asking people, which makes me think, okay, obviously she cares. So are they going to get back together? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. It's really interesting because... I kind of want them to get back together just because I want that whole like fairy tale ending to the whole situation. Lawrence, I want the fairy tale ending to the situation. But the reality is sometimes you don't get a second chance to go back to an old relationship. And maybe that's not the best place, you know, for that relationship or for either one of them. I mean, who knows, right? They seem to both be doing better apart, which is why I think some people are like rooting for them not to get back together just because she's doing better. He's finally getting his business off the ground, even though he's working for a company that's apparently downsizing right now. So who knows where he'll end up. But I don't know. I low key want her and Lawrence to get back together. So anyway, okay, that's my other, uh, my little Connie in the breakup. Thing. That was, that came off a little bit thirsty the way she was trying to find out if people knew that they had broken up. Let me know if you felt the same way. Like, why is she worried about whether or not he was broken up with her? Like, hmm. Anywho. Okay. Oh, uh, love doesn't want, you don't want, you don't want Lawrence and Issa Rae back. I mean, Issa Rae. Issa D back together. Oh, uh, why not? Tell me why. I want to know. Okay. Let's move forward. Okay. That awkward, awkward hug between Issa and Molly. The, when you come, when you come, when you come into the area and you got to say, of course I'm here. I'm your best friend. Like if you're my best friend, you don't have to say that. So like, what was that? Like she knew that she hadn't been being a good best friend is what I think. She knew that she had been slipping and Issa had been slipping. And this is my thing. This is my thing. I feel like when we have these conflicts, we have to talk about them. We can't let things drag on for months. Like, had they addressed the issues earlier on and got their feelings out, I feel like we wouldn't be in this whole predicament, which we'll get to that later. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, that was really my last point. The fact that they're about to have a fight at the end of this thing, and it was it was working all good. It, like, they was, you know, they wobbled together and everything. That was, that was fake, too, though, because, like I said, they had these underlying issues. They should have talked about these issues Instead of just trying to act like, oh, everything's all good. Wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, baby. Wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble. Baby, wobble. They should have talked about it, okay? But instead, they just thought they was going to wobble their way back into their regular old friendship, right? Mm. That's why it almost ended up being a fight. Oh, Molly. Okay, so let's talk about Molly. Why she feel like she got backstabbed? What was that all about? Do y'all feel like Molly was wrong or right? Do you feel like Issa backstabbed her? If someone asks you what's going on with the situation, Nate, and you tell him what it is, and he tries to help you out, what's wrong with that? That's all I'm saying. Let's see. This is only about two years, and neither have done the work. Just jumping from person to person. True. They, did, I feel like they did do some work. They did work, do, do, do some work on themselves. Neither of them were in a career that they wanted to be in, and now they are. So they've done the career work, but they haven't really done the what do I want in my relationship work? What do I need to bring to the relationship work? So, okay, I feel it. I feel it, love. Thank you. <clears throat> so how do y'all feel about, like, the whole Molly situation? Like, everybody's painting her out to be the bad guy. I feel like she pretty much is. Um, but I also feel like it's a combination. Like, you can't both, like, a friendship's not going to work with just one person working on it and the other person not. Unless, I mean, if that one person is the only one that's wrong in this situation. But it wasn't just one person. They both were kind of like... <sighs> sometimey with each other. Like, they weren't they weren't completely honest. Um, Molly started hiding things when she started hiding things about her relationship. Issa was kind of undercutting her a little. Talking about, oh, Molly would have did this. Oh, Molly... Blah, blah, blah. And I could feel how that could be a little bit of a jab. But... 
if you're my friend and you say something that jabs me or hurts my feeling, I should be able to talk to you. And I guess I'm talking to myself right now because apparently I need to have a conversation. Whew. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but yeah, if somebody keeps jabbing you and they're supposed to be your friend and they're like covering it up with like a laugh or a giggle, I think it's up to you to be like, you know what, that's not funny. And this is how I feel about it. And tell me how you really feel. And like, do you really feel like I'm being a B? Or do you really feel like I'm, you know, full of drama? Like, what's like really good? Don't like laugh it off like it's a joke if it's a if it's really a real live situation. And that's how I felt like they kept handling each other. Even when they were in the little, um, the grocery store. And they're like, Haha. oh, we'll talk about this later. And then later came, they didn't talk about it. And then later came again, they still didn't talk about it. And then they just gonna sit up here and try and wobble their way back into a good friendship. And boom. Now you want to fight. Now you want to get your hands up out my face before we end up fight. Okay, hold on. Let me see what Caloria said. Caloria said, they both have been bad friends to each other. They outgrew each other a while ago. However, Molly was dead wrong. Okay, let me see what Love said. Love said, Molly tripping. She said she didn't want to be involved and she wasn't, right? Molly had no play. Let me Molly had no place addressing anything at her event. I agree. She she really be getting out of pocket. She like that, like this was not the place for that. And even her man was like, like my bad. I wasn't trying to. Maybe we could talk about it later, kind of. Mm. And I feel like, okay, was Issa wrong at all in how she handled getting her performer? How do y'all feel about that? Or did she just use her resources? <laughs> since Molly clearly didn't want to be involved and also follow up question do you feel like Molly felt like that would have jeopardized her relationship for real or was Molly just hating and didn't want to be the come through kid for her best friend let me know that answer me that question y'all cause I gotta know I got to know how y'all feel about it I need to know okay tell the truth truth shame the devil I'm watching it again. It's playing in the background. Oh, okay. My from her. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm not gonna be able to read all of this. Good lord. From my post. It's interesting to see how this is from Caloria. It's interesting to see how different people are seeing Issa and Molly. Molly told Issa she didn't want to help her, so I don't think Issa was wrong. She is the reason Molly even knows Andrew. Facts. The public tantrum she threw was clearly more about her just not wanting to. Issa to succeed. Issa left her out of it per her request. And so, so she doesn't really get to decide how it worked out. Now, had Issa called Andrew herself, I would understand Molly. Okay, yeah. Okay, I got that. After ruining my event, she would be dead to me. Dang, dead? Just for clarification, they both have been bad friends to each other. Okay. Well, there you go. Be careful who your friends are. I agree with that. I agree. So she didn't, you didn't feel like Issa was wrong at all. Any, anywhere throughout this, not just on this episode, but previously, you don't feel like Issa was wrong at all in how she handled anything? Even her jabs at her best friend? She jabbed her. What about that old Molly stuff? She kept saying, oh, Molly, what I did now? Oh, Molly, you know? Like how at the end of the uh, the mixer, Issa kind of came for her. I'm trying to remember what exactly she said. I didn't write notes on that. I just had like a few notes. Um, Issa has, okay, so Issa has been absolutely raw. Okay. All right, Love says, nope, it's business. If there was no Molly ever in the picture, Issa still had access to Andrew. Molly needed Issa to fail to fit the narrative she has for Issa. Okay, so a lot of people are saying, they are saying that Molly is basically saying, I want you to do good, but not better than me type of situation. And that sounds pretty accurate. But I'm wondering where her bitterness came from, though. Because, like, they don't even, they're not even really in competition, to be honest. I don't feel like they are. Let's see. I'm just saying Molly took took it to another level by ruining her event. Yeah, I agree. Like, that's... Because let Issa had ruined a professional event that Molly was doing. Oh, nah. She would have got drugged. Like, probably literally. <laughs> so. 
Yeah, that that was just not. And she, everybody kept saying, it's like, do we have to do this here? Like, is this, we, yeah. She didn't have to do that. And where, did, I guess Condo, Condoloza, I guess Condol, whatever her name is, I guess she left after she did her little drop off of her stuff because she's still, you know, sad about the breakup. How do y'all think the breakup went? Do y'all think it just kind of like, um, uh, stemmed off of the last scene that we saw with those two in the kitchen when they kind of both were like on their own side like would you even be here if Issa hadn't cheated and he was like well would you be with me if you were in divorce you know like do y'all feel like it just kind of stemmed off of that and just I don't like when they don't show us stuff and we have to guess I don't like that anyway how do y'all think the whole breakup with um Lawrence and Conjolope Cantaloupe how, how do y'all think that went how do y'all think that uh, that breakup happened? Oh, wait, hold on. We got more fun. Okay, love said Molly should have stayed home. I agree. She didn't want to go and the energy was off. Exactly. That's why they had the awkward hug. Like, hey, 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 I'm at your event. Of course I'm here. I'm your best friend. Like, she was still going through the motions, but she wasn't going through the motions. You feel me? I'm just saying. Just saying. Just my two cents. Hey, Keetra. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. It's going to be a short video. It's only been 16 minutes. Question to you all. I wish my thing will stop moving. How do you think the Lawrence Issa situation will end? I'm taking your predictions right now. I would like to know what do you think is going to happen? Think they're gonna get back together even if you don't want them to but do you think that's what's gonna happen mm. also with the bfs molly and isa is this irreparable or are they gonna have a come to jesus meeting let me know okay okay so you i think we saw most of the breakup just peace out yeah so that 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 argument was enough for them to be like, you know what? This ain't working for me. I'm out. You know, like you feel like that's that's what we okay. Hmm. But also, so why didn't he? Hmm, why didn't he tell Issa? I mean, obviously they've been chatting, they've been sliding in each other's DM, liking posts and whatnot. Okay, Kaloria says it's irreparable. They can be cool again, but never besties. Yeah, when you break that bond, it's like. Mm. Hard to get back. Love thinks they're gonna like y'all. She might he he might do a little drive by on her. I think I think they might do a little drive by. And I guess we'll have to see. I guess we'll see next week. All right, I'm not gonna hold you any longer. All minds clear. This has been a May You Raw Real and Uncut Insecure Edition. Nobody came into the little video box, but that's okay. I'm gonna be back and we're gonna be chatting more. So. Hope to talk to you all soon. Does anyone have anything else to say? If not, I'm gonna go ahead and end this. And we're out. Good night. Bye. <laughs>